Welcome to AmeenAcademy.com. In business statistics, let us discuss about a characteristics of the arithmetic mean. 1. The sum of the deviation of the individual items from the arithmetic mean is always 0. Suppose we will take the data like Let us x four seven eight four seven eight five four five five four five in data we took six items addition is 4 plus 7 is 11, 19, 24, 28, 33. Our arithmetic mean equal total is 33 over 6 items. Here 5, 6 or 30, 3 remain, add 0, 30, 5, 6 or 30. Arithmetic mean is 5.5. Now let us find the deviation of each item from arithmetic mean. Means we can find x minus x bar. Here 4 minus 5.5 is minus 1.5. 7 minus 5.5 is 1 positive 1.5. 8 minus 5.5 is 2.5. 5 minus 5.5 is minus 0 0.5 and 4 minus 5.5 is minus 1.5 and 5 minus 5.5 is uh, minus 0 0.5. Let us add this, just add the negative things, minus 1.5 minus 0 0.5 minus 1.5 minus 0 0.5 the positive items are plus 1.5 and plus 2.5 here negative things minus that is 1.5 plus 0.5 is 2 2 plus 1.5 is 3.5 plus 0.5 is 4 that is negative 4 here 1.5 plus 2.5 is positive 4 equals 0. So we got the sum of deviations from arithmetic mean is always 0. Second one, the sum of the squared deviation of the individual. Let us write the previous data. Here, x is 478, 545, 5. here the sum of the squared deviation of the individual items from the arithmetic mean is minimum. Now already we got arithmetic mean of this data equal 5.5. First x minus x bar we got 4 minus 5.5 is minus 1.5, 7 minus 5.5 is positive 1.5 and 8 minus 5.5 is 2.5, 5 minus 5.5 .5 is uh, minus 0.5 and 4 minus 5.5 .5 is minus 1.5, 5 minus 0.5 is minus 0.5. Now we will call calculate the squared square of each deviations here that is x minus x bar whole squared we are calculating 1.5 square is uh, 2.25 all positives 1.5 square is 
2.5 square is 6.25 0 0.5 square is 0 0.25 1.5 square is 2.25 point 0.5 square is 0 0.25 now the sum we will calculate 2.25 we will calculate here 3 0 3 carries 12 12 plus 3 is 15 1 carries 1 plus 2 is 3, 3 plus 6 is 9, 9 plus 2 is uh, 11, 11 plus 2 is 13. Sum of the square of deviation is 13.50. Therefore, we can say the sum of the square deviation of the individual items from the arithmetic mean is minimum. Here, this is always minimum value. Next. Change in the value of any item will lead to a change in the value of arithmetic mean. Suppose consider this data 4, 3, 5, 6. Here 4 items are taken. We will find the arithmetic mean first. AM of these items. 4 plus 3 is 7. 7 plus 5 is uh, 12, 12 plus 6 is 18 over 4 items are there here 4 4 are 16 2 carries 4 4 are 16 and here 2 carries 5 4 are 24.5 is an arithmetic mean here suppose the change of the third item so here 4 and 3 instead of 5 we are writing 2 and fourth item is 6 as it is. Now let us find the arithmetic mean of these items equal 4 plus 3 is 7, 7 plus 2 is 9, 9 plus 6 is 15 over 4. Here 3 fours are 12 and, uh, and 3 30 75 that is 3.75. Here, first arithmetic mean is 4.5, second arithmetic mean is 3.75. Since one of the item of the first data that 5 is uh, changed as 2. Fourth one, in case of highly skewed distribution, the arithmetic mean may get distorted on account of a few items with extreme values. For example, take 5, 3, 10, and 2. Here, out of these four items, here normally 5, 3, and 2 are good distribution, but 10 is highly skewed from given other items suppose if you find arithmetic mean of those items they call 5 plus 3 is uh, 8 8 plus 2 is 10 10 plus 2 is uh, 10 plus 10 is 20 over 4 here arithmetic mean is 5 here the arithmetic mean we got 5 but our items 5 and 3 and 2 are somewhat near to the arithmetic mean but 10 is highly distorted so this arithmetic mean will not give good responsibility for these data